Hello and welcome to the second episode of Listen Here. And for this episode, we're going to be looking at the connection between hearing loss and dementia. And it's found its way into the news recently, Ping, hasn't it? A, a study with 25,000 people, I understand. Tell me a bit about it. Yeah, well, so uh, the, uh, from research point, well, it has been well established uh, and published a paper in Lancet. So a group of researchers find a link between dementia and hearing loss. So for example, if you have hearing loss, even very mild to moderate hearing loss, your chances of getting um, dementia is significantly higher than people without. And I guess this is because if you live in a world where you can't communicate effectively, that world is going to be less mentally challenging. You're not going to have the same social interactions. You're not going to be having as many conversations. In fact, you, it could be quite an isolating experience, right? So I, I can understand why there could be a connection there. Is that the basic science behind it? Yeah, so uh, I think the connection now from this paper is the first time build up the correlation. Obviously, it's quite different from scientific way to establish causal relationships. So because of this, that happens because dementia could be related to lots of other factors. But this paper really is the first time officially established, you know, if you have a hearing loss without proper treatment, then your dementia, the chance of getting dementia is higher. Yeah, and this, this particular Times article also suggested that just by having a hearing aid, you could reduce your brain age by eight years. Now there's a headline. Yeah, I mean, that's a perfect headline. Yeah, I mean, uh, that some sounds good. <laughs> Fit me up now, you know what I mean? <laughs> We're all getting younger, yeah. right? Um, but I think, you know, because from a research point of view, you need lots of research to prove that. But I think, yeah, but obviously there are a link between people using hearing, maybe people using hearing more active in other areas. So that's why their brain capacity could be um, bigger. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I think really it shows hearing aids is a positive thing. Yeah. It's not a negative relate to the old stigma associated with it. Well, there is a stigma though, right? Yeah, so, right. so I guess it is the aging thing, right? So mm -hmm. people think, oh, I need a hearing aid. Uh, I mean, it's a classic though, isn't it? I mean, I've got relatives uh, who say, oh, oh, you know, you mumble now, or I can't hear you speak clearly, or I can't hear the TV because the music, in the, they, they use background music. They never used to use background music. Well, they always did, right? It's hearing loss but it's a cumulative hearing loss over a, over a period of time that they don't notice, right? Yeah, so the hearing loss is very, very gradual. And it's a gradual process. It takes people 10 years from having hearing loss to really seek for help from professional audiologists. I, you know, I'm working as an audiologist, and 99% people coming to me and saying, well, it's not about me. It's just people become grumbling, they just, uh, you know, rumbling and they, because their voice is not clear. It's not about me, it's not me, it's the other people. Yeah, and, and the hardest thing is convincing those people, I guess, to say, for goodness sake, please have, have a hearing test. Because, yeah, you're not hearing us anymore. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the trickiest thing, that's your job, right? Because I suppose if, if you're in that position, if you're watching this thinking, oh, you know, I have this hearing issue perhaps, or, or you're, you're in denial, as most people probably are, then, uh, then message us, we'll, we'll have a chat about it because there are lots of ways of, of testing your hearing now, right? You don't have to book an appointment with an audiologist. I'm not getting you in trouble here, Peng, am I? <laughs> well, there are lots of ways to, you know, there are lots of online hearing screening and you launched, launched by, you know, lots of organizations, for example, the charities, we, they're launching the online hearing test. And there are other also related apps that can test your hearing. I mean, it's really deep down, I think it's really important for the patient or for people who have a hearing loss, try to do something now. And it's important stuff, right? I mean, we're talking about Alzheimer's and dementia today, but there's also connections to heart disease. Diabetes, is that true, that one? Yes, yeah, I mean, it's incredible, yes. right? Um, any other ailments connected to hearing loss? Yeah, so if you, for example, if you have hearing loss, your chances of getting four, it's much higher than people without a hearing loss. Your chances of, of having a fall? Having a fall, wow. yeah, yeah. So lots of people, you know, they have problem when they becoming uh, aged and then they could have getting fall much easier. But actually, there's a relationship. If you having hearing loss without treatment, your chances of fall is higher. Incredible, incredible stuff. So you're, if you're out there, if you think you might be experiencing hearing loss, message us, get in touch with us, become part of this conversation. Um, and we'll ask Ping, who is the expert. Um, that's all for this particular episode. We'll be back uh, with another one soon. Um, so thanks again for watching. Listen here.